Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle but I mostly talk about business and investments. And today we've got another video on how you should be running your Airbnb business. Today's video is however a little unusual from our typical Airbnb hosting videos. What we're specifically covering today would be the entertainment aspect or your online streaming options for your Airbnb. This won't be about the current problem and development with Netflix right now about password sharing. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to do that. But today, what I'm presenting to you would be the different options that you have for online streaming for your TV. You now have so many options at your disposal. You can buy a smart TV that already has all the bells and whistles. Or the alternative would be buying a streaming stick and there are many out there. I'll be presenting the different branded streaming sticks and smart TVs that I've worked with. I do have my own preferences and will present to you the pros and cons. And as a bonus, I'll be doing this in different locations through a handful of my Airbnbs. So hopefully, this will guide you in your decision-making process about how to entertain your guests and what appliances to buy. Are you ready for this tour? Let's go! So first on our list would be the Amazon Fire Stick. It's a lean remote control. You have a lot of options here available to you. Let's just go a little nearer so you guys can see. Of course, off the top of our list would be YouTube, Prime Video, and Netflix. The thing with Amazon Fire Stick is that you actually have a lot of different streaming services available to you. But there's a big bot there, there's a caveat. Let me share that with you in a little bit. Right now, let's look for HBO Go. So HBO Go, I think, is one of the more popular alternatives to Netflix right now. So when we type HBO Go, what comes out would be Max. So Max would be representing HBO Max. Um, this isn't the version of HBO here in our region. So that's the downside of this streaming stick that's actually made for the US market. If you also noticed, you can actually get the Fox News streaming service, but this would be restricted again to the US region. So unless you have a VPN, that's the only time that you can really maximize the use of the Amazon Fire Stick TV. And even if you have a VPN, I doubt you're gonna let your Airbnb guests use it. Moving on to our next streaming stick, we have here Roku Express. So this is actually my favorite streaming stick that I've been using since 2017, if I'm not mistaken. The remote control is quite chunky and I like that its buttons really click. You get a good feel of the uh, remote control actually doing its job. But more than that, the user interface for Roku I find is the simplest. So it has one of the, the cleaner interfaces. You know, there aren't too many options. You can't really get lost. There's just this one main screen. These are the apps. So that's why I've been using this as my main streaming stick for my Airbnbs for many years now. But I did start switching it up uh, using different technologies out there. Uh, it's very easy again. You can't really get lost when you use the Roku remote control. It does become less convenient with the absence of the power button and the volume control. This was actually addressed. Roku had a partnership with Globe. So it was called Globe Streamcast. So I had a number of those also. Unfortunately, sometime in 2021, if I'm not mistaken, that partnership just fell apart and I'm not able to use my Roku Globe Streamcast streaming stick anymore. Um, if you know if there's a hack, uh, somewhere how we c I, I, I can continue to use it, uh, let me know. The other downside for Roku would be its lack of support for casting from your phone. So the App Store is not also Android, it's just this Roku uh, App Store. So it's there's actually no way to search for an app. So uh, you have all these kind of interesting apps, but uh, sometimes there could be a waste of time, sometimes they're okay. But you can't really add other services like Disney Plus, there's no HBO Go, no Amazon Prime Video. And as much as this was the best streaming stick for me many years ago, I think this may already be past its prime. Uh, definitely Roku for my Airbnb sits on the way out. For this unit, we have a Xiaomi streaming stick. 
So you can get this for a little over 2,000 pesos in Xiaomi stores. I think if you buy online via Lazada and Shopee, it should be a little cheaper. So let me walk you through the interface of the Xiaomi streaming stick. You are able to download Netflix, YouTube, HBO Go, Prime Video, and Disney+. Plus. And since it's Android-based, you also have your Google Play Store here. Uh, so I actually find the Xiaomi TV stick as probably the best one um, in terms of number of apps that you can use. It also supports mirroring of your phone, just like in uh, Google Chromecast. In terms of the interface and the remote control, I would honestly say that it's not as simple as Roku. Um, I think there are more options on the Xiaomi stick that could get a little confusing. I still find uh, the Roku stick as probably the easiest one. Um, but for me, I find uh, Xiaomi's TV stick as the most reliable for now. For the next technology we're assessing, we have here a Smart Devant 32-inch uh, Smart TV. So this is fairly brand new. We've assessed different streaming sticks so far. So I want to walk you through what it's like also to just buy a Smart TV. Uh, some of you might think it might be easier. Um, I'll share my opinions with you on that after this review and walkthrough. So let's turn the TV on. Just like with the past streaming sticks we covered, Netflix would of course be on the top of the list. So you see in the remote control, you can do Netflix and YouTube. A bonus here would be Prime Video. Um, so let's step out. There are always a lot of these random apps that you might come across. Sometimes they're good. There are some nice apps you may use and get some good entertainment from. But me generally, I'm looking for the more reliable ones, the ones we can subscribe to for sure uh, in our region. So let's go to the App Store. So this is apparently being run by Vida. Uh, I do not know what that is. Um, so let's go ahead and also type here HBO. So looking for HBO. Unfortunately, no HBO, not even Max, so no HBO Go. Let's go ahead and look for... So they have Disney Plus, so that's a good thing. I guess this is one of the drawbacks that I don't like about having a smart TV. For one, I'm not too familiar with the platforms that they use. There is a tendency for some apps to be missing. I would still really prefer if the platform that the smart TV is running on an Android platform because you do get system updates, uh, routine maintenance of the platform. So that's always good. I've had previous smart TVs that were probably 5 to 10 years old where you know the system just really stops working. So generally, smart TVs are okay for me, especially if it's new. But I do question the longevity um, and like this one, it's brand new but it doesn't have HBO Go and um, how am I going to offer an alternative to my guests, especially with Netflix cracking down on password sharing. So I guess that would be my tip. Uh, smart TVs are okay, but I would really prefer if you find one that's Android based. So for <sighs> Anyway, let's wrap up this video. I guess you might be wondering why I didn't cover Google Chromecast. I like Google Chromecast, it's just that I would rather be using it personally myself rather than asking Airbnb guests to use it. I mean, it's a bit of a trouble. I don't want to have to go through the hassle of telling guests, you know, how to work Chromecast, how to download the app. Um, they would have to synchronize, install it. In as much as Google Chromecast is a good technology, um, I'm just not comfortable with you know having to go through all that hassle all those instructions that i would have to share with guests so in my opinion if you have the choice the least i would use for your airbnb homes would be google chromecast the second one that i would maybe steer away from would be smart tvs i don't hate smart tvs but i've shared with you my hesitations on it and what i would really prefer to use would be streaming sticks that have their own remote control. And as mentioned, I may already steer clear of using Roku um, unless they have new updated ones. The ones I shared with you, again, are at least five years old already. So 
these are old platforms still working uh, in fairness to them but it's just not the ideal one for me right now if i were to use any of the available streaming sticks i would buy something that was produced and made for the region just so that we can use all the available apps i would also be looking for a streaming stick that would be android based so those are my recommendations on what streaming device which you can use on your airbnbs um did i miss any i'm sure there's a lot let me know in the comment section uh, what do you guys prefer uh, if you like this video please don't forget to like comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already thanks again for watching guys and happy airbnb hosting